they loop from drifter here and uh, back in the drifter HQ backyard. Uh, come back for the fan event from last weekend and um, yeah, had an awesome time down there. So one of the things I wanted to show you is uh, done some you know videos of the new walk-up hardtop, but we're setting everything up and talking while we're doing it, and it's sort of a 40-50 minute video, mostly because I'm explaining and talking and showing stuff the whole way. So a few people said it said it's um, you know looks a lot of stuff, and they've said oh well it takes forever to set up, but it doesn't really. So you know I'm sort of saying to get into bed here in the walk-up hardtop is the quickest setup on the market, and it's heaps quicker than say an Oztan which is renowned, a lot of people would use an Oztan and I've used it heaps you know and um, it's renowned for a quick setup but this is heaps quicker so uh, what I want to do is we'll get the stopwatch out Kyler's going to get his phone and uh, I'll just set up various parts of the trailer and show you how actually quick it is so if you pull up how long does it take to get into bed how long does it take to set the awning up how long does it take to get a cup of tea going on the, on the kitchen and how long does it take to get the shower going? So, um, you know, and we'll do the stopwatch each time and then at the end we can add all those times up to show you, you know, roughly what it does take to, um, you know, get the tent up, get the awning up, cup of tea going, shower on, and sit down next to the fire. Um, so that's what we're gonna figure out today. Um, right, so let's get into it. Just finished lunch, so, um, yeah, Friday afternoon. Had a big week, Cotto's been flat out. Uh, we're all busy here, so um, yeah, we'll see if we can get this done. Um, right, mate, so the first thing we're gonna do is set up the tent and get it ready for bed. Now, we don't have to get the awning fully set up, just to climb into bed if you're traveling. We just need to pop it up, ready to go. So we're gonna time how quick that is. Um, we can pull the awning aside and just jump straight into bed, right? So um, we'll show you that, and then we're gonna set the awning up as a separate thing, so the tent's fully set up. So, right, Chloe, do you wanna start? The, well, I can start it. Here we go. So, the trailer's unhooked, of course. And a little step down there. The ensuite out of the way. I could do all this on my own, I'm not going to rush. But, uh, now, this awning here, if you want to have a quick stop, right, you can tie that off down there if you want to. And move a couple of poles, I don't need these. And I can get in bed. Alright. How long that takes? One minute. One minute. That's pretty good. Right. Now the thing to remember as well, I've got my pillows there, I've got my sheets and blankets, like that bed is made up. And uh, I can literally climb in and go to bed. So a minute is all it takes. Um, and you remember your bed's made. If you've got an Oz 10 or anything else, you know, a lot of other products, you don't have a lot of room in the in the rooftop tent or the Oz tent, whatever. You've got to make up your bed. Uh, any fold-out rooftop tent, you've got to still sort of prepare the bed. You can't store a lot of pillows and bedding in a lot of rooftop tents. Certainly none at all in an Oz tent or a tent. So that's a good point: is that everything here's made up. Got two pillows, heaps of blankets. I've got three of the new woolen blankets, ready to climb straight into. All right. So what I'll do now is we'll start the clock again and we'll set this awning up to show you you know ideally we want to set it up i've done this before a quick stop inside the road i've just jumped into bed like that but if you want to set the awning up it's only another couple of minutes so we'll show you that all right so i'll yeah. go i'll go lap um hey, you can start it again from scratch no we've got one minute there so go are you ready yep all right so we'll go start and lap so we've got our time there for the tent and our time sticking. You right? Yep. Okay, so another thing too I've realized here is that I can do 
and what I'm trying to sort of show now is I can do a lot of this from sitting down alright because the other thing people are saying well it's a bit dodgy climbing around well I'm pretty careful on my feet I used to be a roofer you know and um, so I'm used to sort of heights and everything but if you're a little bit unstable on your feet that's fine you can do all this sitting down and that's what we're going to show you so that's a pretty good point people have made as you can see doing all this sitting down just a little procedure now I just extend these out that one and that one I've got a mark on these where they go to so you can see I'm just putting these out now but pretty simple all right now put those over so the tricky part is probably to get that first section on once you've done that it's all very easy from there we'll put these ropes on So you pull up the side of the road, been driving all night, you want to get in bed quick. And lap, stop. So that was another two minutes and 15 seconds. Alright, so total time is what, Toto? Three minutes 15 to get into bed with the awning set up. Okay, so it's pouring rain, I've got my beautiful annex up, it's all tied down. What was it, three? Three minutes 15. Three minutes 15, <coughs> and I can get into bed there. Got all my blankets, my pillows. I'm set. We got the beautiful uh, Tasmanian woolen blankets. Heaps of room. I can stand up. Look at this. I can stand up in here. Got all my pockets, lights, fans, everything. So now another thing I'll quick show you. These lockout poles. All right. These are next to be do now. They hook on down the bottom and so it just hooks on down here and sits up the top there so what that means is if you're a little bit claustrophobic or you're worried about the tent falling down on you which it won't you got now a fixed lockout pole so it's impossible for that to come down anyway so that's three minutes and you're in a comfortable bed with a 190 mil eggshell mattress your bed's made two pillows, all your blankets, doona, everything will fit inside. So that's pretty quick. All right, let's have a look at the next stage. And also, the best thing, it's such a good entry and exit to this trailer. There's no ladder. You've got a beautiful platform here to work from. And uh, I love the fact that you can just, you know, sit your boots here. You've got the lights underneath, so you've got beautiful lighting all around at night time. This is a good handhold. And, uh, no ladder. So, the next thing we're going to do is the awning. It's a big awning, the square back. Uh, I'm going to show you how quick that is. And uh, I've got my, pot, uh, my pegs in here. Right, so I'll leave all that packed up. Um, the other quick thing I'll show you now this. We've got under these recently. And these are brilliant. It's an electric blanket. All right, it's a 12 volt electric blanket. Comfortable as. It's not a full queen size. It's more of a short double, but it fits in there really nice. It's all you need, and it draws four amps. Okay, now if you put that on at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, your bed will be toasty warm. You're gonna draw four amps an hour, and with these big lithium, you know, you can run that for days if you wanted to, and. Uh, Midnight, two o'clock in the morning, you'll have to unplug it because it'll be too hot. So, toasty warm. On those cold nights, you don't need to worry about the big diesel heaters. 
you know that's all you need and it just makes your bed so beautiful and warm on them freezing cold days that is a luxury so we'll that'll be on the website by the time this video is up righto so if you want to start the clock again Cotto all right so at 3 15. the goal is to put the uh set the awning up all right so you want to can you do a lap time on that yeah yeah okay sure yep <coughs> This awning's probably a little bit wet still because it was pouring rain down in uh, Victoria. Keep in mind too, everything I'm doing here is on my own. A few people have asked, you know, what's this like compared to the rapid wind? The rapid wind is a very popular seller, and the thing is, this is um, not, it doesn't take a lot more than the rapid wind to set up. So I've got my lead there nice and handy. Put that on there. Okay. I'm going to walk around and set the poles up. This is a temporary setup. And then we'll adjust them in a sec. Now that's pretty much a rapid wing right there. Okay. The extra part is this section. I need a few poles for that. Which is that one there. I'm going to grab that. Bring that one around. That goes in there. That up. Okay, now I'm going to just quickly adjust those poles. Down. I'm looking to get these up and down where I need them. Also straight. So a little adjustment. Up there, down here. And then I'm going to adjust the end here. So that's tight. Okay, the poles are set, they're straight, they're where they need to be, the right heights. I can put these up out of the way. It's important to get your pegs in. And that's what I quickly get. I only need four. I'm not really rushing, but you know you want to get this up quick, and because you got to get these pegs in before the wind comes up. Now, if you've got anybody helping you, all you need to do is get them to hold those poles. One of the best things they can do is hold the pole in the middle to hold it down to stop it blowing if it's windy. All right, now let's have a look what that took. So we go lap and stop. So that was four minutes exactly. Cool. So four minutes for the awning. We're set up. Uh, as you can see, there's a couple more little tweaks I can do, which is put the other poles up. So we may as well do that. I'm going to lift this awning up higher, and I put a couple more spreaders in. You know, if I'm going to be just a quick overnight, that's fine. But if it's going to be pouring rain, there's a few more things we'll do. So. Uh, Let's start the timer again, do those last little things, eh? Okay, so we've set the awning up quickly, and you know, if it's a fine day, that's all we need to do. 
if it's going to be pouring rain it's good to do a few other little adjustments to the awning and we're going to do that now so we've actually sort of stuffed up the lap timer so we'll start the timer again we've got all that screenshot so we can record that still so start the timer again Kyla and we'll do these last few mods okay just starting the rain too which is handy so we've got a curve spreader goes in there We've got a tent pole goes in here. We've got our curve spreader goes here. And what else have we got? I've got a gutter that goes on. This is to be fully set up for the rain. And it is starting to rain, so look at that. rain all it likes now. Kitchen's fully protected, we've got the gutter up and okay so I'll stop the clock there. Stop cut or lap? Uh, lap and then stop. Stop. Okay so we've got a minute 30 plus four minutes to set up the awning so total five minutes 30 to set up awning with the attachments like the gutter and spreaders. Yep. We'll show those times on the screen. I can go up a little bit. Alright, so, what's next? Um, we were going to show the kitchen and uh, how long it takes to get out and get the billy on, so uh, let's do that. So, so what cool. happens with some yeah, okay. on? Yeah. Alright, ready? Yep. Uh, we'll probably just say that bit again and then we'll go to the timer. Okay, so next thing what we might look at doing is uh, getting uh, the billy on and how long it takes to yeah get the kitchen out get the gas on so I'm going to put the gas bottle on and get the billy going with ready for a cup of tea so let's do that eh? Alright. Go. Just going to lift this alley box off the back. Let's get all my tucker in there. Kitchen's out, legs down. I'm going to get the gas bottle out. Right. I'm lucky I've got this uh, partner stove, they're very good. Got the stove in the bag. Right. Right, got the stove there. I'll even set up the windshield. Got my little billy. Should be enough for a cup of tea. All right, so the billy's on. Get some tea ready. 
tea bag. Cups. Cups in here. Alright, while I'm doing that, I'll just hook up the, uh, while that's boiling, hook up the, um, the water, because we got hot water to the kitchen now. And that means the kitchen's fully set up. Put the billy on, let's stop the clock and see what time that is. Flap? Yep, stop. So that's just under three minutes to get the kitchen set up, billy on, and the water hooked up. So what was that, a minute? So it's a minute 30, which was the awning attachments, and then two minutes 52, which oh, was the kitchen. Oh, yeah. I see, because that was still that's, running. That's the total. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, let's look at that. Okay, yeah, so you can see there, 2.52, so we're looking at less than three minutes to pull the kitchen out, set the gas bottle up. A lot of people don't want to put the gas bottle on, but you can see how quick it is. And that's it. Um, it's raining. I'd say the total of that, ready for bed, kitchen's ready, it's only less than 10 minutes. Righto, so Billy's boiling. And uh, yeah, I think it was under four minutes for the kitchen having to be set up. The thing is too, is uh, I'm doing all of this standing up without reaching and without struggling, you know, so that's a big feature that, um, you know, if you're on the ground rolling up a swag, rolling up a mattress, rolling up, you know, your bunker or an Oz tent, it's difficult, you know, a lot of people, especially when you get a little bit older, you don't want to be crawling around on your hands and knees, you know, it's hard to get down, so all this setup is easy setup too, you know, um, it's all at a good height, you're not struggling, you're not raising a sweat, it's just all easy. Which is a good point too, you know. You don't want to be um, struggling like a madman. Alright, so it's starting to rain. What I might do is uh, set up the uh, shower and you know, while it's raining, it's a good thing to show as well how quick it is. So we want to get the shower running, hot water, and also hot water back to the kitchen. So, yeah, if you want to start the timer, we'll do that, eh? So here we've got 1 minute 30 for awning attachments, 2.52 for kitchen setup, and now we're going to go for the shower. Okay, so quick recap on times. These are just screenshots. So down the bottom there we have 101 uh, for tent setup. Then we've got 2.14 for the tent awning setup, 4 minutes for the awning setup without attachments. Then over here we have 1 minute 30 for attachments like the gutter and the uh, spreader bars. We have 2.52 for the kitchen setup and now we're going to go again for the uh, shower setup. So I'll switch that back. Let's over there. Start the clock. So the key what we're doing now is going to set up the shower. And it's raining as you can see, so it's good to show it's important to be quick and have a quick setup. And uh, I think total are only about 10 minutes at the moment. We'll have to add all those times up. So start it again, Kato, and we'll set the shower up. Alright, so first thing I'll do, I'll turn the pump on from here, from our TVMS. We'll go around, set up the full shower system. And again, gas bottle here. And pop the door open, turn the gas on. Got hose coming from the pump to the joker. I've got a hose coming from the joker hot into my system, turn that on, turn that on, and I'm going to come into my red hose, alright so, we should have everything's on, gas is on, 
We've got hot water. 33, 34, 35. That's hot water now. We wanted to give your kids a quick bath for a shower. There we go. Have a look at that time, Toto. So to get hot water running, we've got one minute 30. Okay, and the other point to make is that's also hot water to the kitchen. Okay. Look Take a little bit to come through. It's coming through warm now. And now they're starting to get hot. Okay, so that's probably 40 degrees there. Had your kitchen. So easy and simple. So let's uh, start it again for the ensuite. Yeah. What's that time there? So 1 minute 30 for hot water to the shower and the kitchen and now for the ensuite. Good to go? Uh, yep. Alright. Get under the awning of the house here. Uh, I'm not sure I'll have a look. Alright, so we've got hot water on. Have a look at that time. So... Ah, oh, crap. What? I, f I forgot to press lap. What was that time? Uh, so it was 1 minute 30 uh, for the... Um, oh, we've only got screenshots of it then. That's right. Uh, okay, so it was what it was. Oh, we got it on video. So it's one minute thirty for that, and two uh, two twenty for the ensuite setup. So it's about fifty seconds for the ensuite. Yeah. Okay, it's hard to work that little timer, but it was basically not even a minute, as you could see, fifty seconds to set the ensuite up. Um, may as well keep it going, Cutter. We'll put the little hood on top because that's yeah. the important part as well. So I reset it there, so we know what we've done. We've recorded it on video. Yes, yeah, it's going now. Okay, so we've got our little um, fiberglass bow. I'll keep my hood in here. Drifter goes at the front. Right, and then we'll put the internal bow. All right, done. So as you can see now, all right, we've got the shower on, hot water. We've got a little hood on here, which is really comfortable and cozy. And if it's pouring rain, once you finish your shower, you're not going to get wet. When you're on the toilet, the portable po portable toilet, dressing the kids, you're not going to get wet. And nice privacy too from drones that are flying around. So, so there's another, another minute 30, 30 uh, to set up the ensuite hood. Yeah. So plus the uh, 50 seconds to set the ensuite up. So it's two minutes 20 to uh, set up the ensuite in total. That's with the hood and everything else. Yeah. How much was it to get the shower running? One minute 30. Okay, 2.30, so 3.30. Less than four minutes to um, get the shower set up totally happening. All right, I suppose the last thing we need to do is uh, get the fire going. So I might quickly do that. And after that, the billy's on, we're in bed, got the awning up, shower's ready, we've got the fire going. There's nothing else we need to do, what we need to do, okay? Everything else we're just playing around. If I want to set up more gear, more tables, more chairs, that's just playing around, okay? And also you've got other people to help you do those little things. So, um, yeah, we'll get the fire going, eh? All right. 
Okay, so around this side I've got all that sort of gear. Um, the only thing I've got is the little mat for inside the shower. This is a Jacaro table, don't always carry that. But uh, we've been at the fan event, so you see how much storage I've got and also how important all the bags are. Everything's in a nice bag, which is um, just so easy to get everything packed nicely. Got some nice kindling here. Thanks to my mate Brett Hooker, he left this for us at the fan event. So, little, little pouch I got. Kai made this for me in leather. Look at that. I carry this now, it's so good. Alright, a bit of a stack. Now we can go this way. Big thing for these fire pits is to let them breathe. Okay, that's going to go. Chuck a couple more in. A couple of bigger ones. And I'm going to get a chair out. Get a coffee table out. I'm going to sit down and have me a cup of tea under the shade. It's not going to put the weather off us. Fire's going. And what's the time there? Cut it 2.40. Ah! Pick your head one, mate. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, about 2.40, 2.50. So that's fire set up, that's coffee table out, uh, camp chair down. Righto. So, if I can get these coals ready for uh, the fire for cooking. The next thing I would normally do would be to set up my iron grill table here if I wanted to, but I've got the stove on gas, I've got pots and pans. I can cook anything I want, the fire's out, so we might just quickly add those times up and see what the total time is. And you know, a lot of people say they've got the quickest setup. Um, <clears throat> you know, anybody can roll out a swag and say they're set up, but this is a quick setup and look what you've got. You've got a massive awning, big kitchen, a ton of storage, a hot water shower, almost instant. You got a huge queen size bed, big awning. I mean, you've got a luxury setup, and it's very, very quick. You know, um, I think there's some people that couldn't back a caravan in and uh, set their awning up and level it in the time that I've set this up. So, anyway, let's count, count these times up, and we'll uh, see what the total was. <laughs> 